Hi, welcome to my tutoring channel. This is Mr. Peña, where we learn English one step at a time. This is a Casas Review Practice Test for the Casas Math Exam. We're going to go over five problems that has to do with the Casas Test. Over here it says, number one, Brady and Brad and Amy each have five dollars for greatest gift. How much money do they have together to buy the gift? Well, they each have five dollars, so the answer is going to be ten. Next, Patrice has three boxes of bo boxes of cards. Each box is two inches thick. The boxes are stacked on top of each other. How many boxes? How high is the stack? The stack is going to be six inches. Those are just two of our practice questions. We're going to get into the real test practice in a moment. But before we begin, if you like what I'm doing here and you want to learn more, click on the link down below and join my Patreon. You'll get access to exclusive content, downloadable resources, and an invitation to join my private English learning WhatsApp group. One of the downloadable resources available is my 10 day English grammar guide. With this, you'll get the gist of the fundamentals of English grammar within two weeks. If you spend 15 minutes a day reading through this guide, Monday through Friday, you'll get the gist of English grammar in two weeks. That's one of the resources we'll be able to download by joining my Patreon using the link down below. Now let's get into the Casas practice test. Gina is buying a t-shirt. Uh-oh, Gina's gone. <laughs> Gina is buying a t-shirt that costs $10. The sales tax is 7.5%. How much will the tax be? So we do know that 50% is actually 0 0.5 as a decimal. So you really have to divide by 100 or move the decimal place two times to the left. So we're going to take this and move the decimal place two times to the left. So we're going to multiply 0 0.075 times 10 in order to get the sales tax. 10 times 0 0.075 is 75 cents. That is what we call the sales tax. So 7.5% of $10 is 75 cents. Now we're going, moving on to number two. Jackson Elementary will have 120 first grade students next year. Each class can have 24 students. Using the equation 24x equals 120, how many first grade classes will the school need? So that's 24x equals 120. We're going to divide both sides by 24. So if you take 120 students and, div and, and, and divide them into groups of 24, how many groups will you have? How many classes? That's going to be x equals 120 divided by 24, which is 5. You will have five 
first grade classes. If you have any questions, feel free to um, leave them down in the comments below. It says here, Which best describes line QR and line ST? They are equal in length. Let's test the hypothesis. We're going to take the lines and see if they are equal in length. They're not equal in length. They are intersecting lines. That is intersecting lines when they cross. They are perpendicular. Perpendicular lines go something like this. And so they are not perpendicular. They are parallel lines, meaning they will go on forever and not intersect. That's what it means. So QR, so this is line we call it QR. This is line ST. They are parallel. We call it parallel lines. Our next problem says one foot is 12 inches. A piece of string is 144 inches long. How many feet is the string? So we have our key here. 12 inches is one foot. So that's, let's just, let's do it this way. 12 inches is one foot. Um, how many feet is the string? Well, we know that it's 144 inches long. So we're finding out the number of feet. So we cross multiply. And when we cross multiply, we get 12 times X equals 144. Now we have 12 times X. The inverse of multiplication is division division so you get x equals 144 divided by 12 which is actually coincidentally 12 feet so the answer is the string is 12 feet long the string is 12 feet long. There you go. Here's our last question. According to the graph, about how many people ordered lunch from, how many people ordered from the lunch cart on Tuesday? How many people? Here we have Monday, here we have Tuesday, and over here we have the bottom, we have the number of people. So how many people did order from the lunch cart that day? On Tuesday, we're going to go down the middle, and it's in between 30 and 40, divided by 2. So that's 70, divided by 2. And so that's 35. 35 people ordered from the lunch cart on Tuesday. This is... 
Arkasa's practice test. Mathematics, level AB. I hope that this has helped you prepare for your Casas math exam. If you want more practice with English or Casas testing, um, if you want to improve your language skills and learn with me, join my Patreon using the link down below. You'll get exclusive content, downloadable resources, and an invitation to my private WhatsApp group. All of this if you join the free membership down below. Take those added benefits as of my way of saying thank you for becoming my virtual student. I hope to see you in the Patreon community. This is Mr. Peña. I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.